I was in my comfort zone, but I made a decision just a couple of weeks ago to 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 leave my job. So I'm Tony. I've been with Jim for I think two two and a half years now. You can call it a vision, a calling. To me, it was something inside me. You can call it the Holy Spirit. It was just telling me like, you know, we have to move. You know, we got to move here. And part of it was just feeling stuck where I was at. I felt like I need. I was called to do something, but I didn't know what. But where I was at, I was never going to be able to figure it out, which was part of just being stuck in that cycle with, with the job and trying to make ends meet, have a happy family. But the more and more we needed, the more I needed to work, the more time I didn't have. Something needed to change. I didn't know what. And that's when I fell into, you know, just searching, finding Jim and ended up being the Airbnb system. He's already made more money than he, he was making at his job doing less work doing things, doing more things that he enjoys and, and getting away from that. You know, we talk about the power of the tongue, not just the power of your tongue, but the power of the tongue that's that that's also engaging those realms. So when you're at work and you're around people who that's just their lifestyle to be negative and why is it so, like, why do I not feel? And then when you get around people like us in these circles where everybody gets it and you have to be there for 40 hours a week where everybody doesn't get it, it, it becomes physically, mentally, and spiritually draining. Because I believe that if I had my time, I will be able to figure out what that calling was for me because I felt like I was never going to figure that out. Went really good first, two, I think it was a year and a half, went really good. But like he said, there was that... I guess that ceiling that some of us kind of hit, uh, things started to go wrong um, in that aspect where I was hitting the ceiling, didn't know which way to go. You know, by taking that first leap of faith in the beginning, just even joining uh, that group, I was around the right people. So I was able to ask the right people the right questions. And again, boom, I was able to pivot a little bit, even though it was awkward. And I can emphasize I was, I was just in the right circle. The journey's just changing, I'm growing, I grew, Spirit, more spiritually than anything um you know the finances definitely grew but uh just just being able to get out of your comfort zone for me because i am a quiet guy it was hard to get out of that that comfort zone um when when you're used to doing something a certain way um now i'm in an even much better position just so y'all know like i i would never ask any i would never tell anybody oh you need to leave your job i would those words would never come out of my mouth like i could definitely appreciate though what tony with uh what he was expressing when he says little nervous because when i left my my corporate job and yeah i'm making six figures yeah i got status yeah i'm playing at country clubs and doing all this other stuff but they put a cap on me too they put a cap on me and uh and they helped me to realize that they're now in control of my destiny regardless of how much money I was making. I had to make a decision one or the other. And obviously this was the decision I made, which I thought was best for, for me and, and, and uh, for the people that I'll be, um, you know, hopefully blessing in this. Um, so it was a decision I knew I needed. Um, and even in the last two weeks that I didn't have a job, it's like, I don't know, it just, it just feels right. It, it, it's scary, but it still felt right. And, and, and I'm just excited for this journey. Um, that was sort of also showing my commitment as far as, you know, that I, I needed to just do this 100%. And the job itself was kind of holding me back. 100% committed to this. And um, I'm just excited to see what the future has uh, for me in this and what it has for you guys that are also involved. Uh, you don't know who's watching, who's not watching, who's you know, being affected by just something that you're, you know, just by uh, the journey you're going through. Uh, sometimes you get focused so much on you trying to move up, you don't realize who else is watching or who can be affected by uh, the things that you do. So uh, I'm just excited for that. And um, yeah, I'm just excited. <laughs> excited, nervous, but in a good way. Uh, and I'm just committed, so hopefully, you know, everybody else can can join that and 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 um, just be on the right track with all of us. People say, hey, "Does money buy happiness?" No, I don't believe that. If you ain't if you don't feel joy before you got money, you ain't gonna feel joy after you got it. I'm gonna tell you that. And in most cases, the reason why you do have it is because you felt joy before it, not not waiting for money to bring you joy. You're waiting for money to bring you joy, you're gonna be waiting forever. But one thing I will say, though, is when you do have a lot of money, it solves a lot of problems 
that try to make you unhappy right? and try to keep you unhappy. It's, it's great to be around others who get it and um, and who are praying for you. Thank you, Tony. Let's give it up for Tony. Good job, man. Good job, bro. Congratulations on your newfound freedom with your, from your time for your wife and your family. Like, it's awesome. And no, you aren't doing anything wrong. It's, it's, that's how it's supposed to. That's how I appreciate it.